Yeah, good afternoon. Hi, I'm uh, Eric Toth. I'm the women's tennis coach at uh, UC. And uh, a little bit about me, um, I'm a native Cincinnatian. Grew up uh, here in town, went to Elder High School, and I've been involved in uh, college coaching for, I guess I just finished my 23rd year. You know, just today, we're just gonna show you some basic things and hopefully get you excited about the sport of tennis. So we have the lovely Sabrina and Brittany uh, today with us today, and we thank you guys for being out here with me. So, you know, what we always start really, again, kids, adults, when they're getting started, the best tip and the probably the quickest way you're gonna improve and get better at the sport is learning to control the racket. Okay, I always say the racket is your friend, okay? And the more you can control the racket in your hand, just the easier it's gonna be to hit a lot of the strokes that you have to hit. Another thing to address here is how to hold the racket, because it is important that your hand is in the right place on the rack. And without getting too technical, kind of what you want to do is take the back of your index knuckle and just kind of place it on this flat panel right here. Okay, very good. And get that index knuckle kind of on this flat panel right here and wrap your hand around. There you go. So pretty much where I have your hand is where the forehand grip is. So walk the dog is very simple. When I say go, I'll just demonstrate it a couple steps here. You're just pushing the ball, all right? And what by pushing the ball, you want the ball to stay very close to your racket. Okay, you don't want to hit the ball up to the net because the whole idea is you're learning good racket control skills, all right? So when I say go, we're gonna walk to this line right here. And this is, uh, that's the service line. Now, I emphasize with, with this drill as well. This is not a race, okay? It's very important. Now they don't listen to that, okay? The kids wanna get to that line first, but it's not a race. It's more important you do this properly and correctly than hitting the ball 15 feet in front of you and getting to that line first, okay? So when I say go, we're gonna walk the dog to that line. Ready, walk the dog. All right, I won. So very good, see? See, I was competitive, I, I, I beat him, so I guess it was a race, okay? No, good job, you guys did a great job. You controlled the ball, your hand stayed in the right place. Okay, we're gonna walk the dog back to the baseline, walk the dog. All right, very good. Now I let them win this time, okay? So they wanna stay out here, they feel included. Keep your hand in the same place on the grip. Again, it's very important that you're holding the racket in the right place. So let's pick the ball up. <clears throat> Another thing we do here is we balance the ball on the racket. So go ahead, you can just balance the ball on the racket. And you'd be surprised, like kids have a very hard time doing this. And you know, obviously they're, they're smaller, they're not as strong, their hand and wrist get tired, okay? Then once we progress, the progression from that is to go around the world. So just try to take the ball and go around the frame, okay? There you go. Man, we got some all-stars here. So what we're gonna do right now, we want the palm down, okay? So we're holding that racket in your forehand grip, palm down, we're gonna bounce the ball down. All right, so go ahead, bounce that ball down. Yeah, this will be a little bit trickier. If you played on a boys' high school tennis team, not so much. That away, Sabrina. All right, good job, Brittany. Very good. Then what we can do is, palm's going to be up now. We're going to bump the ball up now. So go ahead and bump the ball up. Now, in doing this, I encourage the kids Keep your feet still. If you're chasing the ball all over the place, again, you're probably not controlling the racket properly. So notice Sabrina and Brittany doing a great job just keeping their feet still, just bumping that ball up. All right, stop. Great job. 
All right, the progression from that. We'll do uh, hamburger flippers, they call it, okay? So let's start the palm down, palm down, palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down, palm up, go. Again, you try to stay still best you can. You might have to move and chase this one a little bit. Brittany, you've been on the golf course not as much as you've said. I think you've been on the tennis court more. Look at this girl. Good job. All right, stop. Excellent. Okay, now this one's tricky. What we're going to add, all right, and I'm kind of putting myself on the line out here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to execute this one. Okay, we're going to go. We'll start, I guess, with palm up, palm down, off the edge. All right, so palm up, palm down, off the edge. All right, see, that's pretty tough to do. All right, ready, go. Let's see if you can do it. Go, switch off the edge. All right, go get it. This is a challenge. We'll give you a couple more tries here. Yeah, the pressure's on now, I think, with these guys. Yeah, so as you see, there we go. All right, pretty good. All right, so we'll stop you there. But again, those are three like really good drills, three or four really good drills you can do that specifically work with your racket control. What we're gonna start is with a ready position. So you're both right-handed. So you actually, so the grip I showed you, you wanna keep that grip with your bottom hand Okay, now you actually want the hand to be lower on the racket. Okay, go ahead and grip it. Okay, now with your left hand, put it right on top with kind of the same grip. Okay. All right, so right here, we are in what is called the ready position. Okay, now to kind of take it to that next level, keep your feet spread out. Okay, keep your knees bent. Okay, we want to be in an athletic position. If our feet are too close together, we're standing up straight. You know, when we're worried about movement, we're not going to move to the ball as efficiently or as quickly as we need to. So you want to keep a wider base, keep your feet spread out, keep your knees bent. Like I always say, look like an athlete. These two guys, they look like athletes. Okay, now, when talking about the forehand, now with the ready position too, very important you keep the racket up and this as we get into kind of stroke production we'll kind of uh, explain why okay but with these two they're in step one so basically when we get ready to hit balls I say all right kids step one and that's the ready position now step two is preparing the racket and we're gonna do it on the forehand side right now now I'm just gonna use Brittany right now so we're gonna hit forehands so when you hit forehand, you're both going to be turning to this side. Now I want to address what we're going to do with the racket. Okay, so step one is the ready position. We get into step two, you're turning and letting go. So let go with your top hand. Now notice where her racket is. It's still up near her shoulder where it was from the ready position. Now, everybody's different. I don't believe there's one way to hit the tennis ball. I have my way of teaching. It's not exactly the same way as other people that teach the sport, but I'm a big believer. You really don't want that racket to get up any higher as you're drawing the racket back. You just kind of want to keep it at the same level, and then you're going to want to drop it down and then through. Okay, so let's get back to step one. So I want you to kind of do that yourself now, Brittany, as we uh, get going. I'm gonna help Sabrina out, okay? So we get into step two, turn, let go with the top hand. That's it, drop, and hit. Step three is just swing the racket. Now, what are we doing with our feet? Really didn't get into that, so we'll, I'll come in front of you. With the feet, okay, you're gonna turn and you're gonna get your feet facing this way. Now look, there's variables to everything that goes on in this sport, okay? If you watch you know, the good college players that we have, you watch professional tennis, there's open stances, there's closed stances, on the forehand especially. Probably more so on the forehand, on the forehand you're gonna see more open stances. When I'm starting somebody to teach them the sport, I'm really not teaching them an open stance. I'm teaching them a closed stance because that really helps them get their body organized 
so they can learn the, just the basic fundamentals of hitting the tennis ball. Okay, so let's get back to step one. Now this time with step two, Brittany and Sabrina, I want you as you bring the racket back, let's get your feet facing this way. All right, step two. Okay, very good. Okay, get back to your ready. Now something you did, that's kind of a no-no, all right? Now don't worry, you're not gonna have to run laps or anything, okay? So what you did, when you took your hand, you just kind of dumped your racket down right away. Keep it up near your shoulder, drop it, and then hit. Because you kind of want that racket, just some continuous motion as you swing to the ball. When you dump your racket down, it stops. And that creates just a stoppage. You're just not gonna hit the ball as efficiently. You kind of want that racket to keep moving, okay? So one more time, ready position. All right, step two. Very good, drop it and then hit. So the hitting part, very simple. You hit on one side of your body, you finish on the other side of your body. We're gonna get into the backhand now. So let's get into step one. Now, I was talking about grips earlier. These two were probably sleeping when I was talking about grips. You need to change your grip when you hit, when you're hitting your forehand and you're transitioning to a backhand. So I'm gonna demonstrate here with Sabrina. I want you to keep your forehand grip. Okay, so Sabrina turns. When she takes her racket back with her forehand grip, the racket is angled up, okay? Sabrina needs to make an adjustment with her hands, with the bottom hand, okay? You're just gonna, yeah, just turn it just right slightly to that next panel or bevel, and then you bring the racket back, and it's actually, it, it's not tilting up. And then like I mentioned earlier, you kinda wanna angle your racket slightly down as you take the racket back, okay? So why don't you hold, keep holding on to the racket the same way. Get back to step one. Okay, so maybe, there you go. A little more there, okay? So why don't you go into step two on the backhand? That's it, so again, you want the racket just to slightly face down. Now, like I was working on earlier with, uh, I think it was Brittany, we were talking about the backswing. Now again, when you take the racket back, you don't wanna take it up any higher than your shoulder, okay? You turn, you keep it at the same level. From there, you gotta drop it, and then you go through. We've addressed step one, so I want you guys both in step one to make sure as the ball comes, you're dropping the racket down and then through. Let's see how she does here. Very good. Now let's swing through it more, through it. There you go, one more, through it. It's in there, very good. Ready. Oh yeah, she's trying to turn it up a notch. Ready. All right, that's okay. All right, we're gonna go through four hands again. Let's make sure we're hitting through it. Good. Yeah, get back into step two. There you go. One more. Turn. Brittany, let's see how we can do it here. Now, Brittany's going right from uh, step one, so this is good. This is probably a little more realistic situation I've put her in. With the two-handed backhand, with backhands, there's two-handed backhands like I have Sabrina and Brittany doing. You see players on the Pro Tour, good collegiate players, they'll hit with one hand on the backhand. Two's a little bit easier to learn from because I think it's just a little bit easier to control the racket because you have two hands on the racket and it's just a lot easier to command the head of the racket. Now, we're gonna do better this time because this is a very important tip. On the two-handed backhand, you're gonna actually use your non-racket hand more. So we have two right-handers over there. They're hitting with their dominant hand on the forehand, the right hand. On the two-handed backhand, they make the grip change with the bottom hand. That top hand, the palm of the hand is actually facing the court. So you wanna push and lift up with the top hand rather than pull across with the bottom hand. All right, so some expert coaching is gonna have you guys hitting that backhand better now. All right, here we go, Sabrina, go. 
All right, it's over the net. Good job. Very good. One more. All right, yeah, just keep using that top hand. Lift with the left is what I say a lot of times. Lift with the left. Let's go, make that third ball. All right, good job, very good. So we're gonna have them hit a forehand and then a backhand, and then we'll have them do it again. Forehand, backhand, okay? So what's important, okay, Sabrina and Brittany, you're gonna each have to make a grip change. Make sure your hand moves, that bottom hand, has to get to the right place on the grip so the angle of the racket's in the right spot, okay? All right, so we're gonna go four balls now. Forehand, backhand, good step one there. Here we go, forehand, very good. Backhand, good grip change. I saw the movement with the hand, that's very good. Again, once more, that's good, Sabrina. All right, great job. Yeah, four very good swings there. What was good about what Sabrina did there, all four swings look the same. That's very important. All right, here we go. Forehand. Yeah, Brittany's gotten serious. She got her game face on. All right, grip change. Keep moving that grip. Very good. That's a great backhand, Brittany. There's just so many benefits of tennis and why it's so fun for so many people. I thank uh, everyone for tuning in today and I uh, look forward to seeing everybody soon. Go Bearcats!